Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have Dark Legacy The Rising starter deck here from Upper Deck. It's a LCG card game. I'm not sure if it's still going on or not. Got really bad reviews on Board Game Geek, like a 2.9. Uh, it does sound kind of silly fun to me, actually, because uh, the resource system is ridiculous. So it's a two-player card game, 45 to 60 minutes. Once you get the hang of it, we're just going to unbox it and check out the components here. Let's see, that is a nice top opening box. So we have four D20s here. Board, it looks like. So the starter deck comes with two decks. I think it's Chaos and Tech. Um, that's probably Chaos, that's probably Tech, I'm not sure. Uh, let's see here. Got Shield of Decay and Divine Shield. Well, the problem is like getting them back in the box, I guess, and keep them separate, but some dice, two play mats. Of course, they're paper as always. And we have a thing of tokens. With some skulls, some bullets, looks like some squiggly Cthulhu looking things, a plus three, plus three. Uh, single bullet on the back, a bigger skull. So, looks like I think they're poison tokens, or it was mentioned in the game. Um, let's take a look at the board here. Uh, rule book, let's take a look real fast. Uh, yeah, well, it's 30 pages, and not super small text. So that's not horrible for like a collectible card game because a lot of it's just going to be terms and things like that. So really a quick overview. So Dark Legacy 2, Dark, it's not Dark Legacy 2, sorry. Dark Legacy, The Rising. It's a two player card game. It says that RPG elements that focus on character customization. Uh, there are 120 playable original art cards in this set here. Take a look at the board. And like I said, within this set, there are two opposing factions. I think it's Tech and Chaos. There are additional decks you can get, um, probably like Zombies or stuff. They're on Amazon. They're like between eight and ten bucks. This is this was, I think, fifteen or so bucks. May not be worth it depending on your taste. This is also uh, rated for ages fourteen and up. So we got some maybe. I think it's armor placement as an SP here. I'm not sure what any of that means. Probably a deck discard and stuff here. You have some token markers there. All right, let's take a look at one of these cards. It doesn't really tell you which is which. This says armor. So I'm guessing I really, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll take a quick look here. Any clue on the cards, gameplay overview, 120 cards, uh, your D20. So the biggest complaint I heard, you roll a D20 on your turn, you get your, like your mana for your spell casting. So you can roll a one or you can roll a 20, <laughs> which is quite a mess, which sounds hilarious actually to me. Uh, card breakdown, weapons, enchantment, creature, instant, relic, magic, and armor. Uh, spells and creatures here. So things are named kind of generic, it looks like. So here's our layout primary weapon slot, secondary weapon slot. Um, your hero equip slot is in the middle. Uh, your charging deck, because you have levels, you can level up in the game. Um, spell slots over here. And then the battlefield is in the middle, it looks like. Top layer. So your standard CCG kind of stuff. And then what's this here? Attack roll, result table, three or less critical miss, a clean miss, a hit seven through 17, 18 plus is a direct hit. And of course 20, a natural 20 is a critical hit. Give me some extra damage bonuses. All right, let's pop open um, this divine shield deck, why not? Does it have a tab? It looks like it does. I think it's 60 card decks. I don't know if they gave you extra to deal with or not. It just says 120 cards. All right, well, let's take a look at some of these. 
So divine shield, a regular shield. So I think it's your casting cost up here, zero. And then this is the level you need to be. And from, I understand like if you're not the level, so you start at level one, it's like a level five. So you would have to put this down here. I'm sure it's face down or face up. We'll put it face up for now. And you add experience tokens to it. And then I guess once you get the difference between your level and this level, I think you're able to cast it from what I understand. I've never played the game, so uh, we get the helmet of knowledge here. All cards are, play, are played face up. Uh, warrior costs one and one. Then we have their attack. It looks like defense and life here at the bottom. Uh, warrior again. These are starter decks, so they're pretty basic kind of stuff. Uh, here is a guard who is on the cover. Uh, one, zero, three life. A noble warrior. So we should probably have like at least some kind of bigger character. Activate target creature gains plus whatever one of those are. So war probably defense. Light spark like a spell. Uh, the faithful is a creature. Oh no, it's a creature. It says right on there. Uh, let's see here. So we got the scholar. Activate. Look at the top card of your deck. Then place it back on top or bottom of your deck. So you can cycle a little bit. You got our lead guard, toss eight, uh, attack is three, and I think your life points are set at 50. So angel's pretty big here, six, six, uh, divine warrior, six, eight. Levitation, enhanced creature gains flying. So looks like it's gonna be flying mechanism, like in magic probably, where you can fly behind a creature to hit someone else. Bionic legs activate enhanced hero gains flying until the end of the turn. Bionic legs do not deactivate on your next turn. Okay, so do not deactivate on your next turn. So you get them for two turns, I guess. Sonic scream here on your turn. Pay five casting points and deal three damage to a target creature. Okay. Regeneration, it's healing, counter spell. This says counter target spell. So some very basic mechanics, like do you play the spell? You're like, ah, I just counter that spell. On one hand, I don't mind that. It's kind of nice, I think, because it's like, hey, I don't need to read two paragraphs of text, like on a Yu-Gi-Oh card or something. If I just want to play a quick battle game, this might be pretty fun and pretty silly. Very swingy, being a dice roll for your mana. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, the leveling might be a pain. You know, gain some stuff here, music box, music box, a bow staff, so here's your weapons. Um, you cannot attack with this weapon. You may make a base attack of one, okay? Shurikens, so you have ammo nine stars, so these are where the ammo tokens come in. So you do three damage. And a short sword, add plus two to your attack roll. Uh, for short sword attacks. Okay, so that's if it's equipped. So that's one deck. I don't know which one it is. Uh, well, I'm guessing it's her since she was on the deck. Um, we might as well take a look at the other deck here. All right, here's the other deck. Straighten this out a little bit. We have a Shield of Decay, opposing hero of the Divine Faction. And the Shield of Decay will do two damage when your hero is defending. Okay, uh, your regular shield, Mask of Terror. Damage done to your hero by melee attacks is reduced by half, round it up. Triworm as a zombie. Evil Spirit, Killer Owl. I don't mind this artwork, I think it's fine. I think it's serviceable. We got the Vulture here. Stenchnoid, or Stetchnoid, Giant Bat, Skeleton, pay three casting points, regenerate Skeleton so they can come back. Uh, ghoul here, so it's a werewolf that was on the cover. So it's here. Kind of big baddie, I guess. The Inferno Hounds, Harpies. Then we got some enchantment, creature, binding chains, target creature cannot attack, defend, activate, or deactivate. 
Um, like for how long? Is that a round? I don't know. Enhanced hero gets plus four. Darkness, no damage is dealt this turn. So it buys you a turn. Uh, regeneration, which is on the other deck. Counter spell. Reload, refill all of your weapons. So sacrifice, sacrifice creature in order to draw two cards. So the other deck, I didn't see any card draw off hand. I remember, take a creature from your boneyard and put it into your hand. So this deck has some recursion, it looks like. Music box, to we're up to two casting points. So you can save some casting points because when it does say you roll, you get your casting points, end of the round, they all go away. So the music box lets you uh, store some for the next round. Here's a bomb. Here's the axe, spear, defending against flying creatures. Uh, axe is just the base weapon. So that is the components. So you get these nice D20s. I'm not sure why you have two a piece. I'm sure that might come into play. So two yellow, two black D20s. That's uh, paper playing mat, which I think looks okay. I don't I know. I heard someone complaining about it. I'm not sure how much. I would rather have it be non-busy kind of. Um, maybe it said the initial for what it did be a little bit better. But I think this is fine for what it is. So that is Dark Legacy, The Rising. This is the starter deck. It comes with the two factions. So you have the werewolf and the, like the tech guardian here. So I haven't got to play yet. Maybe I can convince someone in the play group to give it a try because I think it'll be funny. And again, you can find it pretty cheap on Amazon if you want to try it out. Uh, right now I'm looking at it. It's $15.20. That might be a little much for a game that could be very much <laughs> totally trash. I don't know. Uh, I haven't played it yet. And like I said, I got a lot of bad reviews, but it looks funny to me. Um, thanks for watching Jablar. Have a good day or night wherever you are. Smash that like button, hit subscribe, and make sure you watch uh, some more videos on the channel. I appreciate it. Thanks.